Greetings everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna start a new game, not permanently, but I haven't played in a month, I realized. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be training basically. Made a new character. Hopefully she doesn't look too bad in game. I'm gonna pick a soldier this time. We'll get back to our temple night. Ah, I'm gonna skip this now. Would you like to play through the journey? Yeah. I'm hoping we can uh, beat the um, Grey Demon at some point, even though I've done it, but not on recording. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Tutorial. Yeah, somewhat presentable. Let's see. I think we have a. So yeah, we have a spear, and we can take that off because I'm not really going to use it I think but then we still that is nice to have um, kind of more normal attacks rather than the halberd well it served it served as well but the helmet is a bit weird. Dark lock, target release. See, I, I noticed I hadn't played in a month. I had pre recorded a couple of episodes, one after the other. Then I went back to play it yesterday, and then the uh, emulator kind of reminded me that my emulator was 28 days behind on the latest update. So then I realized that I had not played since then. Because the, the emulator gets a lot of updates, honestly. Present moon grass. Also, I'm quite surprised that, um, because that, uh, I did update my, uh, drivers in the meantime. It's kind of surprising that the game isn't doing the, um, the thing where it slows down all the time to reload. Uh, kind of build up the cache. Seems to be doing all right. Yeah, this sword is nice. Might um, probably would be best to. Um, get a long sword, I think. It's probably the best sword, right? Strong attacks. Yeah. So there, there is a mod on the Nexus that kind of expands this area. So I'm almost, I was kind of wondering maybe if, if doors like these are, might, are opened. But yeah, there's probably nothing back there. It wouldn't go through the trouble of making something inaccessible anyway. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure if the, if the designer of that kind of built it himself or um, just opened up some stuff. But I'm, I'm guessing he made something himself. 
wasn't really interested in playing it, I guess. It's kind of neat that it exists, but... I don't, I, I, I don't think it's kind of lost content or anything. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta do the thing. Yep. That was lucky. Let's see if we can get lucky twice. Yes. Actually, the stats on a, on a soldier. High vitality, low uh, well, low intelligence, endurance, strength, dexterity, magic, faith, luck. Okay, so the uh, the temple knight does have pretty pretty low luck. So that that's high higher. Okay, I, I did not know that. I wouldn't have guessed that faith was already a ten. So it wouldn't be too hard to get a bit of faith going. Because yeah, playing the Temple Knight, um, I don't know, maybe I'm not using miracles as much as I could or should. But just having an extra heal or a um, uh, the evacuate is really handy. notice we got our health back. When did that happen? When we... probably when we teleported. Great demon. Big chunk. Let's see if we can get him. This is bad. I think if we can kind of stick to this side, we might be. Might not have enough room to maneuver all the time. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, 
just run circles around him. And it's doable. Not a whole lot of souls, actually. But we can use that grey demon soul. Because you get another one anyway. Or could you use it two times in one playthrough? I have no idea. So, yeah. Now we are in level three. No, level two. Goatee. So yeah, this will be pretty funny once we get close to it. The game just doesn't even give you a chance to um, to do anything. You just get one shot at. Yep, you got your stuff. And you're out. Hang on, what? Uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. He's already clocking it. still ready. Whoever comes through that door is going to get punched his lights out. And we go to the Nexus. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. You have died and the Nexus have tra has trapped your soul. You cannot escape. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Nexual binding. What does that do again? Oh, nothing. That's not a ring. That's, that's an... It, it's, it's something. You slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed boletaria? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? Ugh. It's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> I guess since we are a... Uh... Our class as a soldier, we probably came here because of some sort of duty rather than in search for riches. So there should be a message here about the death, uh, the death mod. Let's see. True death. Upon exper experiencing true death, your character loses not only their gain soul level, but their weapon level as well. So that's not true for the, for the, uh, the version I'm running. In this version, it'll only reset the soul level, not the weapon level. Because I thought that was a bit silly, even though... Honestly, at this point, if if our uh, Temple Knight were to die, I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd probably give up. When your HP reaches zero in soul form, true death occurs. True death causes... True death causes has all of your gained experience to, to reset. So that has needs to go. True death causes all of your gained experience to reset.
So yeah, I'm not really sure if those messages are actually uh, were actually found in the code or put in by the developer. But yeah, th there is uh, actual dialogue from this this character. If if you uh, die in human form and then come back here, and then he'll actually mention he'll mention true death. So yeah, at some point it was it was meant to be in the game. Um, I don't think there's really anything we need to do here right now. Might as well just go in and leave. I'm, I'm going to skip the stuff now, just videos, the dragon swoops in. Usually I'm not big on skipping videos, but I've seen it now, not too long ago. Big bluegrass. I was kind of thinking about that, how as a child I really loved... Um, just cutscenes and videos and games. I kind of went nuts with um, Metal Gear Solid 4, Metal Gear Solid 2. I played that a lot. Just uh, and that one also had a video mode where you could just watch uh, a couple of cutscenes and then you could switch, um, uh, switch characters around. You could change. Uh, well, all sorts of stuff. You could uh, turn Snake into Ocelot and turn like the bad guys into good guys. And it was kind of fun. Yeah, nowadays cutscenes really aren't that uh, special anymore, I guess. Because back, back in those days, well. It's kind of the, the start of DVDs. And I guess you did have VHS tapes, of course. But honestly, just having stuff to watch on command was kind of... It was a bit more um, novel back then, I guess. It wasn't just as easy as, as just going to YouTube and looking up something you want to watch. Kind of a weird tangent, but yeah, I, kind of, I was kind of thinking about how uh, cutscenes in video games used to be more special in a way, I guess. But this was PS3, yeah. Uh, but still, as a leftover, I always feel kind of bad for uh, skipping, <laughs> skipping stuff. Again, ain't got time for that. I'm actually pretty sure we could have upgraded this broadsword with um, with the stones that we got. But if we can get to the merchant, we might be able to buy a long sword. Ha! I remember you. weird to me that he that it makes sense but your character doesn't make a sound in uh, soul form i think that's still a bit weird Oof. anything back here
So yeah, playing Demon Souls again. Should probably get back to Elden Ring and get to... Um, I was playing a new character. Because I wanted to get um, a character up to the point where the DLC starts and then maybe get the DLC because I haven't played it yet. I don't own it yet. Probably should. Do their thing. Just to say. Hi. Hello. Is this where we? No. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, that, not so much. He's not hurt by the fireball. Beware of trap. What trap? needs a lot of strength. Hmm. Good thing we went back. go this way is there still may as well but uh, there might be items See the lighting change. Yeah. Whoop. Goes back. <laughs> uh, one thing I, w I will kind of say. Um, Chad. Get a crossbow. Nope. Goodbye. Which way is the safest way? 
end up like a chump. Oh, look at that. All right. Um, turpentine. We need that. Okay, back here again. Yeah, pl pl playing through this kind of uh, alongside or with with having played like the newest game from From Software, Elm Ring. Um, the thing about the levels is, uh, I, 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 there is stuff in Elden Ring that might make you think oh this part is a bit annoying i have to get through it but it's it's not nearly as bad as kind of uh, um, demon souls where there's um like the swamp levels and stuff the the, the poison swamp and uh, even though elden ring also has that i guess I, I, I. Oh. Because yeah, with with the Temple Knight character, I have to do the. And maybe maybe it's not too bad once once I get if I get to it once I get to it, but. Uh, I have to go to level 5 too, I think. Good. Which uh, I'm not really looking forward to. Some stuff there. It's bored. Alright, let's go see. We're pretty close to the merchant, I think. Let's see if we can buy a long sword. I think that's better than the broadsword. Oh, I should have. Yeah. Should, uh, should I? Nah, yeah, we'll get back there anyway. Get those items that we drop down there. Mainly the hairpin. We need to give that to um, Stockpile Thomas. That's his name. I'm Stockpile Thomas. There we could jump over. Or not. Still, still something to see that scene play out without having a huge uh, <laughs> frame dip. Over my wares. Mostly <laughs> stolen, but who's telling eh? Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. <laughs> and those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. 
But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'd like to buy your longsword. That's all of our souls. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. Thanks for that. Come back soon. He, he is the prince, isn't he? So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, longsword. Uh, yeah, scaling is better. Wait. Does this, does the broadsword do bleed damage? Huh. I had no idea. Go help out Ostrava. Oh, what, what his name is? Crossbow. Mm -mm -mm. If you press on, you can proceed. Oh, that's a very good one, actually. Should we put that on already? May as well. That was a bold jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Alright. Don't seem to be bo too bothered. Yeah, we're gonna get shot. What do you do? What are you gonna do about it? It is what My it is. thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Brass telescope. There they are. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, now I'm actually not too sure which one is better, the longsword or the broadsword, but... This is a falchion, if I remember correctly. A scimitar. Oh. Hang on. This way. Uh, we could use a fire bomb there, but I don't want to waste them. I want to use those on the flanks. Nice. 
Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. All right. You seem to be a bit stuck, sir. Now I'm stuck. There you go. I help each other out. There you go. Heading this way. Probably go and upgrade our sword before we go into the boss room. God, back there I was wielding an axe, and I think axes are kind of part of a joke in in FromSoft games because I th I don't think they do much. Uh, they don't really have a, a, a pros. I don't think there's any reason to use a axe over a sword or a mace in uh, FromSoft games. I never knew that actually. I don't. I think I I saw like a meme about it or something. I'm not really sure why. Because I think like maces have more stopping power. I'm not really sure about swords. Well, some swords are bleed, but not all of them, of course. But axes don't do anything. Nope. Crap. That was a nice combo there. Stabbed. Thank you for the moon grass. Soldier soul. Oh, we're up to a thousand souls again. Not too bad. I generally do not like axes. Got to think of it. I don't think I ever used one in a, in a, a, in RPGs in general very much, or a, a, a Souls game. First time for anything, I guess, because I never used a helmet before. I'm kind of stuck with it, with the uh, the Temple Knight character. It, it might just be a feeling, but it does kind of seem that we are picking up a bit more of um, um, grass, maybe because of those extra few points in luck. Could be, not sure. I'm in trouble. Next enemy weakness is his back. Yeah. Gentlemen, 
Okay, one at a time, good. because of the thief ring actually if we hadn't been wearing that they might have come both at the same time Could it be because we're wearing the thief's ring he's not showing up? Or... Maybe the tenant... Oh, the tendency is all white. I think. So that means we can just go and grab the items. <laughs> we don't need to lure him off his perch. Mm. Oh, that's probably also the reason then why we're picking up so much moon grass, I think. I think you'll get extra. Let's see if they're both gone. Flame shield. Ring of flame resistance. So what is this then? Ring of great strength. Oh, right. So maybe if we wear that now, we'll, we'll be able to um, mid roll. full white but I'm, I, I should be on just regular tenancy I didn't do anything special so maybe the server is just all white right now you can do it yourself it's kind of weird that everything is all white maybe is, is there something going on? Is there like a special weekend? I don't know. Anyway, it's been beneficial for us, I guess. Because I think we were also getting a bit more souls and just higher drop rate of stuff. I think that's kind of how it works. See, actually, what if we let's take those away? Great strength. Nope, still fat rolling. I was not expecting that. Oh, hang on, great. Is this? Uh, no, it is equip burden. I thought it was item burden for for a moment there. Okay, get. I guess we need. What if, what if we take away the crossbow? Yep. There we go. So yeah, we probably just need a bit more encumbrance.
That is true. See, I'm always reminded that that spot over there with the two dragons. It always reminds me of the time I, I joined a forum for this game. And I was talking about how I was able to get those items after beating the boss. Because um, I probably did that in short succession while the, um, the, 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 server, the servers were pretty close to being white. I just thought that it was it was normal that if you beat the first level boss that the dragons would disappear. But of course that's not normal because it's uh, it has to do with tendency. So yeah, I was just saying that if you go there after beating the first boss then those dragons should be gone and you should be able to get those items. And someone else was just um, being adamant that that wasn't true. And I was adamant that it was true, but <laughs> I guess we were both we were both right and wrong. Right in the gooey bits. Kind of curious how many souls we'll be able to uh, garner to level up since we um, we can't just use the uh, the tutorial boss soul. I guess I could go back and upgrade my longsword before the boss, but I think we'll be okay. Pick up the items here. Those. There it is. The hair ornament. And that will give us the item burden ring. Okay. That one away, and then we'll put turpentine and fire bombs. Twelve. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, let's get our health up. And let's go. Oh, come on. your veggies
think that if you take him down, uh, if you take all the, the little enemies down, I don't think he regrows them or anything. I might be wrong, but I think he's pretty much defenseless now. Of course, he, he might just go and kill me now. Let's put some turpentine on. Yeah, you do not like fire. Okay. Return to the Nexus. Still alive? This is something that might interest us. Might it? The black-robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware. Do not devolve into a foul beast. All right. The monumental awaits thee above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Very well. Probably have a better grasp of the story of Demon Soul by now, but uh, King of Land kind of brought doom to the land. Where is he? There he is. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too. A scourge of demons faced. By the power of the monumentals, the full sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. If not, have you the strength? Yeah, but well, since we're here anyway. Yes. Now, go forth, the old one. Go forth. Uh, there was something here. There it is, one level below. I think it was an ephemeral eye. Stone. I think that was kind of it. Well, th there is more, but you need to do some platforming, I think. And since we're not keen on dying, I guess it's not too bad because you should be able to just get your souls back and then you'll regain your body in this mode. Still though. Been in soul form for so long. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not too sure about this true death mode if they if they should have implemented something like this in in um, in the actual game i kind of get the notion of it but then again the game was kind of hard enough already but it does i think a lot of people just played in soul form and called it quits so human form kind of lost a bit of its uh use i guess or appeal but I don't know. Probably for the be it's for the best that they took it out, but I, I kind of get the idea of wanting to have something there. So I guess um, what Dark Souls 2 did was maybe... Although, yeah, you could say that was kind of annoying anyway. Dark Souls 2 had it where you would 
you started off if you died once you lose you'd, you'd lose a bit of your maximum health and then you just you, you you lose just a bit more health each time you die maximum health brave soul who fears not death prithee yeah maiden controls you can let's um let's just use the big soul uh the vanguard yep yeah. Ah, 1500. Uh, what about these ones? Okay. I'm just gonna use a bunch. That's just just for fun. Let's see how much how much we can get from um, if you actually beat the tutorial boss, and then just use all the things. Yeah, that's quite a bit of souls. What is it? Dost thou s I do. So be it. After go let these I dust. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Yeah, you can get a fair bit of levels. Uh, maybe two more? Should we get... Ah, uh, strength up to 16. Yeah, that's quite a bit. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and... So Alright. Art thou done, main... Let's see, can we upgrade our sword? Mm, but I'm it's in trade with your... Oh yeah, we can upgrade this probably twice as well. So that one goes up to 88. What about this one? Also 88. Hmm. So yeah, I'm guessing scaling will be better in the end. So the longsword might win out. But I am surprised. Do come. Quite surprised that the... Uh, the other sword, the broadsword, does with your sword. bleed damage. Do come back. Have we gone up in damage because of scaling already? One oh seven. Twenty points of extra damage. It's not too bad. Anyway, let's, well, let's see if we can roll while having a crossbow equipped now. Yep. Huh. All right. Not too bad. So this is kind of the, um, well, I wouldn't say optimal, but kind of an, an, a very good start, honestly. Probably the best start you can have uh, apart from, I don't know, some exploits and stuff but for me anyway this would be a uh, <laughs> a very a very good uh, start for a character not not that it matters much you can get those levels anyway but uh yeah so that's kind of the uh a reintroduction for me anyway back into demon souls um yeah thing is oh going to level five too yeesh with the, uh... I did learn in the meantime that there's actually a a blessed mace in this level that I I missed, which is kind of a shame because that one would be pretty good to have on the. Uh... But then again, it might lose out to hel to the halberd in a big way already. Anyway. Uh, that'll be it for this episode, so thank you for watching and hope to see you next time, but for now, farewell.